The second Niger Bridge is a sight to behold, with its sprawling eight lanes and other adjoining road infrastructure put in place by the contracting firm. These are the toll gates standing tall across the bridge, ready for activation and operation. The sights and sounds here speaks volumes for a bridge the government is working round the clock to get ready for the temporary opening for the Yuletide season. A development which brings the Minister of Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, here on an inspection tour to ensure that everything is in place. The engineer representing the Ministry of Works and Housing says work on the bridge is at an advanced stage and everything is being done to put the facility to use as promised by the supervising ministry. It is important to also note that the traffic is going to be one way. We don't want a situation where any vehicle will oppose the flow of traffic. And for that, we've also put some measures in place uh, in terms of improving some of the some of the existing roads for the communities around here to use it to uh, to go to their communities and exit their communities without uh, opposing the flow of traffic here. A drive by the Minister of Works and Housing and his entourage takes the team from the Asaba Axis down to the Owe Road interchange and back. After that, the Minister speaks about the work so far, as well as the source of funding for the bridge. Sometimes it just takes days to cross the river because the old bridge has been outgrown by our population and our economic size. So a lot of people have talked about the solution. But the Buhari administration decided to implement one, which is to build the bridge, whatever it took. So wherever the funds came from, uh, investment income from our uh, oil assets, repatriation of some funds that were stolen out of Nigeria came in from the U.S. And the result is now what we see. In 2018, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari re-awarded the second Niger Bridge contract to Julius Berger Company after over a decade of going back and forth. Expectations are high as the bridge will be opened, albeit temporarily for use during the Yuletide season, and with officers and men of the Federal Road Safety on ground, the usual congestion at the bridge head axis may be non-existent this time.